Welcome back to my channel. I feel like it's been a while since I filmed my last everyday glam routine So I just wanted to go ahead and film an updated version and show you how I achieve this look step by step Because it's an everyday glam. It doesn't have as many steps as an evening Heavy glam look would have essentially, but of course I'm still focusing on the essentials Which is oil control and just ensuring that everything has a soft matte finish I'll definitely make sure to write down all the products that I used in this tutorial down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Now if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Yuri Lamas Bella and I'm so thankful that you're here and I hope you stick around to subscribe. So that's enough of me talking. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, so right now I have nothing on. The only thing I have done are my eyebrows and I say this in a lot of my videos, but I like to do my eyebrows off camera only because it takes me a really long time to do them still. So for the sake of keeping it short and sweet and and down to the point I just go ahead and do it off camera and it's the first thing I do so it's fairly easy but I am using the Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow pomade in the shade ebony so first I'm going to prep my face using the Caudalie Beauty Elixir and I'm just going to apply this all over my face now this product is one of my favorite prepping sprays it really tightens my appearance of pores so now that my face is prepped, I'm going to go ahead and apply my primer. And I'm going to use one of my favorite primers. It's the Farsali Unicorn Tears. I say this in a lot of my videos, but I honestly think it's because I struggle with it so much. I have super oily skin, so when I prep and I prime, those are like the really, really essential steps for me. I just need that extra help just to keep all of my oils in control. My next step is to conceal all of my dark areas and that's just going to be under the eyes and around my lips here. I have a little bit of discoloration so applying a concealer there really helps even out my skin tone. And this is in the shade Bamboo. Now if you saw my first impression review on the Fenty Beauty, remember I absolutely loved the formula of these matchsticks. It's just really creamy and to blend it out is very seamless very easy and it all looks really natural so when I know I'm doing like a full face of makeup instead of putting the concealer under my dark circles what I do is I go in with a color corrector and then after my foundation is when I'll apply the light but when I'm doing like an everyday glam it really saves a lot of time if I put the concealer under the eye instead of the color corrector because it just saves time and it's just like another layer that like I don't have to worry about which is essentially what I'm going for if it's just an everyday glam I don't have like three hours to do my makeup okay so we're ready for our foundation for this look I'm gonna be using the max studio fix fluid and it's in this shade NC 42 I particularly love using this foundation for an everyday glam only because it's really weightless the formula is really easy to blend and it's also really buildable so you can either choose to have like the medium coverage or a full coverage now the only downfall that I have found in this formula is that it does oxidize so you are gonna see my face get a little warmer throughout this tutorial I remember when I was purchasing this product I specifically asked the rep if this formula tends to oxidize and what she told me was that if your foundations usually oxidize on your face, then it is going to oxidize. But if it doesn't usually, ox like if the found if foundations usually don't oxidize, then it won't. Which I really didn't know what to do with that answer because I'm like, some of my, a lot of my foundations do oxidize and a lot of my foundations don't. So I really didn't know. But I still bought the product and I did learn that it does oxidize on my face. Now I'm ready to do my eyes and to prep I'm just gonna put a little bit of primer potion this is the urban decay primer potion I love this formula I still like to put some translucent powder just so I can curve out that V shape and a lot of product won't fall onto the places that I don't want them to so for this look I'm gonna be using a shade from the master palette by Mario and it's the shade Violetta Violetta I said that wrong it's this one right here I really haven't used this palette in a long time, so I forgot how much I really loved it. It's just so pigmented. It's so blendable. When I'm done getting like the desired pigment, I like to go in with a clean brush and just blend out the edges just to make sure I don't have any harsh lines or anything like that. I'm good to brush this off now too. So I'm just going to take it off. 
For an everyday glam, I usually don't bake just because I don't want my face to look really heavy. But what I do like to do is I like to use a powder light and my favorite is in this Kat Von D shade and light palette. It's the middle light color and it's the shade Lyric. It's this one right here. I'm going to go in with a clean brush, tap off the excess, and then just place it. I've always really liked powder contour palettes over the cream ones, only because I really think that like powder contour and highlights are more user friendly. So now I'm going to bronze my face using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil, and this is a powder bronzer. It's one of my favorites, and it smells really good too. My face is actually a little darker than normal right now, which I don't know why because I'm always cautious of how long I'm out in the sun. If I'm going to be out in the sun, i got to make sure my face is like nice and moisturized and I have SPF on. So I really don't understand why because I feel like I try so hard. Even for an everyday glam, I still like to contour my nose because I hate my nose. I've always struggled with the way my nose looks. I used to, for the longest, I used to hate my side profile. Only because my, I felt like my nose just comes out way too much. I'm actually really insecure about my nose, TBH. Which is why even with an everyday glam, I'm still gonna contour my nose. Okay, so now it's time to highlight. One of my favorite highlighters I like to use for like an everyday glam is one from Becca Cosmetics. It's a dual highlighter. Now this was the collaboration with Jaclyn Hill. So this has the champagne splits. I'm just gonna put it right above the cheekbone here. Tip of my nose, Cupid's bow. And with the remaining product that's on the brush, I'll just brush it upwards up towards the nose. Okay, so I know about 80% of the world totally hated Kim Kardashian West's cream contour and highlighting sticks, but I really liked her highlighter. So I usually like to grab a little bit of it and apply it right under the brow bone just to add a nice depth and dimension. So now is usually the time I'll go ahead and apply color to my under eye. And it's just to make sure the eye stays nice and warm. I'll be using a shade from the same Master Palette by Mario. Even with an everyday glam, I like to always apply my lashes. Even if I put like pounds and pounds and pounds of mascara, like it just, it just never looks like as vibrant and as lively as when I put on falsies. Anyway, before I put on some lashes, I'm going to go ahead and apply some mascara to my lashes here. And I'm just going to be honest, all of my lashes that I own are really dramatic. So even with an everyday glam, my lashes are going to be dramatic. The ones that I've been so obsessed with lately are from Huda Beauty, and it's in the style Jade, number 13. Now that I've applied my lashes, I like to add some color on the inner corner of my eyes. I'm going to be dipping into the same Master Palette by Mario in the shade Marina. Now we're ready to add some lip color, so before I do, I'm going to prep the lips with my Farsali Rose Gold Elixir. I use this all the time, whether it's a heavy glam, light glam. So for this look, I'm going to be going in with Bites Buttercream Formula Lipsticks, and this is in the shade Marzipan. Marzipan? I don't know. Now we're ready to set this all in place, make sure it doesn't go anywhere. I'm going to be using the MAC Studio Fix Plus Prep and Prime Spray. It's one of my favorites. So that concludes this tutorial on my everyday glam. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!